Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you for the So that should coincide with uh, what we're going to be doing in Auckland uh, yeah. because of the Whakaminina itself and and uh, ancestral connections which would add up to that flag yes. as being, I'm um, putting all the, um, um, the right courts in Britain uh, together. I'm sure they're watching us. And yeah. I, I've got a fair idea that they're starting to get spooked in the parliament here why Peter Dunn has taken off. Because uh, they, they know that something's happening. And I think I'm only assuming that the British have told them, you better watch yeah. out because things are going to happen. Uh, and they, they have beefed up themselves over there in Britain now against everybody else. Um, and I think they won't spite face and, and, and say anything to us that they know that we're coming to put the Britain put the Britain back together and it makes it precarious for, for the Queen to have jumped into the EU and and wondering what she's going to do next year she's not going to abdicate yet she's made an announcement that William is going to take over from her and that's going to be till she dies. But in the meantime, it's got William there ahead of Charlie because of a William against the William King William. You see, it's not it's not their bloodline. Those Georges are not the right Georges to King William the Third and King William the Fourth, Dutchmen. The, the Dutchmen, they're not Dutch. They're they're Spaniards. Uh, William William's father is a Spaniard. His, his real father, not Charlie, that's not his father. His, yeah. his, his father is, is, is um, um, uh, Carlos, uh, the Spaniard, the one that's got our trust. You see? The, yeah, the Queen Victoria Trust, is, it's, it's in Spain, the King and Queen of Spain. Uh, and Amel de Marcos. Ferdinand, Ferdinand Marcos died last year, and that's when he, he, he uh, abdicated to uh, to the son of the uh, King and Queen of Spain, and that's that's the Filipino guy where all the gold is in the Philippines. That's why I'm after him. To, to, because yeah, the, Fili the <coughs> yeah the the son is a Filipino. <coughs> Imelda Marcos, Imelda Marcos is a Filipino, and the husband, <coughs> um, uh, Ferdinand Marcos, that's that that's that's um, um, William's William's father. It's all a big mix-up because they they designed it that way so they can shift the trust out of Westminster and stick it in Spain. Because the King and Queen of Spain are the trustees of our trust, and uh, the Queen is, and and uh, and Prince Andrew is the other the four. That's the four trustees of our Queen Victoria Trust. That's what that Queen Victoria High in, in Auckland is. Is 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 that Queen Victoria Trust? They're running it here. They're running that all here. Uh, I've known that for years. But that's the thing. Yeah. We, Moi and I were trying to get wrapped up, but now we can wrap it up in our court hearing in Auckland. Because they're stealing, that's the, you see, John Keyes is, is flouting our eight-point star on his, on his front because he's become a knight. When they become a vestiture knight, they get the eight-point star and he's got it planted on him in Australia. He's living in Australia now. 
he works for the Air New Zealand over there. You see, they, they spurred them out of here and then they're operating their business still over He's operating, he came over here, flew into Auckland just last week and then Bill English got Pat C. Reedy, the Governor General, then made him a knight. You see? That, yeah, that's right, that's all. That's, I'm following what these pirates are doing. Now, now that Kingy, right, and Kingy's been in... Kingy, Kingy's been down to, to Wellington. I'm suspecting that he's getting the government set up to flog this flag off. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's why I'm writing him off. Out of out of out of it all altogether because <coughs> he's not talking to me anymore. You see? Yeah. That's 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 the first sign of something fishy going on. But I've let him I've let him run out as far as he can go with the Queen Victoria Trust. He's He's the King Edward. That's why he don't care stuff about the flag. He's the King Edward, the bastard Queen King Edward. And so he's going after that trust, and I'm going to block him right off with this flag. We're going to do we're going to do that in Auckland before they've got this all set up for this New Zealand Wars thing on the 28th of October. Cheeky buggers! You see, I've been I've been I've been shadowing them all the way through, from the Lisbon Treaty right up to now on how they. They are stealing our trust and all the gold and everything. That's why I made that power note to go right over the top of them. See, they can't stop me because somebody's saying, don't touch. Yeah. You see, you can't... Yeah. No. Did you, eh? Did you um, book the Uluwaka? Uluwaka? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have. For the 29th and 30th. 29th and 30th of... September. September. Yeah. Okay. Is that going to work in with you? Yeah, yeah, it's a Friday and a Saturday. Friday we have a court hearing between 3 and 4 o'clock. And then just overnight stay and then the next day we just have a hui uh, till 3 o'clock. <coughs> okay. Just that to, good. That's to run over things. But the main court hearing is an hour. In London, the, the, oh, two hours. Two, two yeah. hours. The court case we're doing straight online, straight to Britain. Straight to the yeah. world. I'll, I'll be putting the manual together for you well before I'm putting the, the court manual together for you fellas, you and you and Manahi. There's only you, Manahi and and uh, Hedewini, the three paramount chiefs on the documents. And so I'm putting that in with a magistrate document, but I'll be making video to tell you how things uh, are going to work out straight into the High Court of Admiralty in London. I'm setting that up over there for a court case. <coughs> and uh, I'll, I'll have all the costings and everything, uh, so so that once we we get everything together, it's the magistrate court. You, did you know that uh, a public can go into a public court and book it to use it? A, a member of the public can go and book any court to have a court hearing outside of ours. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to get that out as well, and yeah. and and put that into the manual, <clears throat> uh, because it does it. I've, I've been reading it. I'm, I'm following how the law here is, the jurisdictions here and the jurisdictions in Britain. Very good. I'm following to make sure no one's going to get away with it, especially. Okay, so it's the 29th and the 30th. Yeah. Uh, start at two o'clock. Yeah, two o'clock. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing. Hey? Eh? It's in uh, Ipsum, just up from Broadway to on Manukau Road, going to the airport way, and it's oh, yeah. it's about two hundred yards at the lights Owens Road, I think it is. Uh, lights and and right there. <clears throat> it's it's a it's a Catholic church mission. Marae. It's, it's a university marae. It's neutral from any other marae. That's why I've been going there all the time. Oh, well, when, I, when, when we get closer to the table, we'll give you a budget or we'll, we'll get more information from you before then. Yeah, so... And, uh, how's our um, stamp getting like that? Many yeah, many no, I'm waiting for you because it was three days to make. It should be tomorrow. Yeah. I'll ring them up tomorrow and then I'll post that through to you. Beautiful. And courier it up to you. But that, that stamp... 
can will go on to your documents. You can fashion the, your documents the way you want because that's your your job. I'll I'll, I'll just guide you through the the yeah. legal process on on putting something well, together. That would be the case. That would be a because everything is going to be a complaint from now on uh, with that stamp. Yep. On, on that's what I'm saying. The way you fashion your documents, it's you you know yourself uh, uh, on your own intuition that the law you say is going to be the law of the land, and I know what what's it going to come out like because they cannot contest anything that we say. <clears throat> they cannot contest anything that we say because their jurisdiction can't warrant it on on anything. That's that's just a natural plan to us. It's a natural plan. So one of my thinking was is that you know I might write an affidavit and stamp it with a stamp and give it to the court prior to my grandson going to court. Yeah. Yeah, to put it on to put it on hold. Or don't even let them go, go through the court. Just or, send for David. Yeah, send, send it out, and yeah, that they have no jurisdiction. I'll I'll pull something out for that, and, oh, and to give you an yeah, idea. September is this case. September. Okay. Well, that gives me a bit of time to figure yeah. out what to write, and and okay. and and that'll be effective, <clears throat> because. What I was writing to the to the judge in the district court worked for me, and, yes. and they had no insufficient evidence against anything, and and as far as we're concerned, is like how I'm saying, what we write is 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 law, right? Yes. What we write is law, and because they cannot contest another case with police, they're just their private business. That's what they're running. They're making money out of out of out of, out of private business. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they. That's the more people in jail, the more money they make out of the birth certificates. And and we're we're confiscating those as well. Yes. <clears throat> so this 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 will be a landmark case with anything with that stamp because those words on it have a, have have legality straight into Westminster. No, no one can do that, yeah. and no one can say they're a bank either, and no one can say they're a crown either. You, 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 you'll get locked up. You see. So those those two things have been very effective. That's why I'm assuming that the navy in Britain says don't touch any of these documents because they're third parties. You see, they're third parties. We're we're a first and second party to that. Magistrate Court. The Magistrate Court <coughs> is more the highest court when it comes to original common law and yeah. how how they got here, right? How how yeah. immigrants got here, and then the High Court takes over because the money's uh, resolved in the High Court. You see, so yeah. what we do in our Magistrate Court because all you do is hold a meeting in a morai, which is which is a magistrate court. You're the magistrate court yourself, but you hold your meetings because that's an authority. We're going to take the authority of a marae back one by one. Yes. Right? So it doesn't matter which marae you go in, it's yeah. once you've put a step on the document of that marae on that day, on that time, and that minute, that becomes legal. You see? Yeah. And if you do the marae case, then that's going to send ripples right through the world. 
with, with that stamp, and I'll tell you what, I'm not frightened to do it either. Beautiful. See? Yeah, so that, 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 well, that's a bit of time to, to get, uh, get, get things together. Yeah, um, the all of all the, the, the summary of everything, of the case and everything, here. Yeah. You know, that's, that's all right because for me, the marijuana is, is, is something beneficial. Yeah. And they're making money out of it. The, the, the cops are making money out of it, not by the plant, but by arresting. Because their law says so. Yeah. Yeah, well, now, so... He was sick, he was sick, he's been under um, a whole lot of help. Yeah. Because he, 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 he was... So, so... He was a synthetic drug when he was... Yeah, so, yes. But I'm just saying, how many people were involved in it? Just... Just him? Just the mother, mother and, uh, and my grandson. Okay. And all his police. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, we'll just deal with that one the way, the way I've been dealing with the police um, okay. uh, in, in a president case. So, yeah. so that's going to be that's going to be something for the paramount. And, 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 and the court hearing is in Kaikoui. Oh, in Kaikoui. On the when? On the fifth of September. Oh, you wanted me me to be there at the court hearing, or no. before? You want me to be there to do the documents before the court hearing? Yeah, yeah. And we'll, and we'll put it in and see, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah that's better if you just take it straight into the court and to the police. Yeah. You issue the notice straight to the police and straight to the court. It's just yeah, a bit... Yeah, we'll, we'll go in and deliver it to them. Yeah, yeah. Now that's alright because if cases were going to follow straight after that doing a waka marae. All, yeah. all, my, all my hearings have been done in there with Moi Manigao. And they yeah. were signed and and, uh, and um, notarized. Then went up to Waitangi and signed again there. All those yes. all those books I had, uh, and they they were all done on Marais. But that's the, that's the Marais to One Tree Hill. <coughs> that's the closest one to One Tree Hill. So uh, even though it's a Catholic church, um, uh, it's still used. Uh, that, that's their Marai. Um So that's that's what I've been using anyway. <coughs> Yeah, so so that's good, Bundy. I'm I'm pleased that you fellows have uh, ha had some success up there because that does matter with these documents. Yeah, uh, and the thing is, we ask everybody give us an idea out of ten how our our meeting went. And someone eleven out of ten, fifteen out of ten, fifty out of ten. Oh, they just they were said it's fabulous. Yeah. Okay. Did you did you get? Some connection with the Ge National Ge Geographic. Um, no, it's been on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Because I, I only thought that they they would be looking at the names of places, and and, and putting the names back, that sort of thing as well. Uh, but. We've got to get the Hapa house right, uh, but I think, how does Portoho go, all right? Beautiful. Oh, that's good, because... They it, really supported the whole thing, Danny and yeah. Portoho, and we had to go to Maririo Carlton, or Maririo here. Yeah, no, they've got that job Marley, to... Maririo, Maririo, do they know our here without Tornha? Yeah, so that, yeah. That, that, they've got a job to do, they're the only ones that can do that, and with you to put the whakaminia together for the whole country, yeah. but um, just they, I think they know now sufficient that the corporate side of the business is, is here in Auckland for yes. the, for the Whakaminia and it doesn't need a whole tribe there. That's right. It doesn't need that. Yeah, so they, their budget will come out of this lot. Yeah. The budget will come out of this lot and, and fire it then and it will be all open, accounted and everything. So well, that's...
Yeah, yeah so this is the this is the main crown, the, the Maui Crown and the Fucker yeah. Meaninga and the Maui Crown King William Trust, okay? Yes. The King, King oh, William Maui Crown, King William Trust right around the world and yeah. uh, straight into Britain because I think they've hooked on to it there. They won't yeah. say anything despite their face, but in the end they will. Yeah. Uh, because they're getting a cut out of it. I've got a, I've got a measure out the cut they get. But I'm putting I'm putting ten billion aside for the for the navy military over there straight out off 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 the deal. Yeah. Yeah. To recover, we can we can start with one case and another, and it'll go from there. You'll have busy people in the Fakamininga. Yeah. They'll they'll be picking up all the complaints all over the world, all over the country. Yes. Yeah. They'll, 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 all the file claims will be going there and we'll just be running the bank here and the rest of the world from here in, in Auckland with, with the main claims overseas and Pacific Islands from, from Auckland the main yeah. Moai powerhouse bank will be in Auckland uh, uh, so the budget will come out of there dished out up that way and then that'll run their Whakamini and the upper house Got, they've got at least they've got that title upper house. We're going to be using that in this court hearing because they don't have an upper house here. They're thinking of one, but they have no no jurisdiction, no seal of the court, no seal of the queen, no seal of Westminster in that government in Wellington. That's what I'm putting up against them. Okay, so, so yeah. Now I'll have a I'll have a video and 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 you can watch the video before I get there, but yeah. on how it works. And the manual will have it in it, but it's quicker I found by doing short videos uh, to, to get up to speed of what's written. But I'm taking all the extracts out of the law from Britain uh, and the latest up-to-date um, um, amendments and the latest court hearings that, that are involved billion and trillion. They've got a trillion case over here, over there, um, and some people. That's how much fraud there is going on here. Those cases are just going through the court there now and pick them up. I'll pick them out and I'll just have a couple, two or three in the, in, in the manual as, as up-to-date hearings in the magistrate court. They had to go to the magistrate court from foreign countries. They can't go to the high court from foreign countries and go to the magistrate court on figures as high as that. Because that's, that's where we're going. We're not going to play around with little figures. Um, because. The, the banks and accountants won't bother about little figures, especially when it comes to land and issues like that where they're running their business here and they get away with it if we don't stop. If we don't stop them playing around with that eight point star on our flag, that's our, that's our brand name, that's our, that's our, our right uh, of that flag that they're using and while we don't know what they're doing unless we tell them, unless we tell them that's our, that's our jurisdiction, that's our brand, that's our four corners of the earth, is our flag, that you haven't got that over us. That's all it is, Bundy. But I have, it, I have it all going together now. I'm, I'm working on it full time now. But I've got the agenda and everything in your email. Uh, and those videos are just put together, just explaining a little bit of it. But people are watching it on Facebook and YouTube, so that does matter what I say. Everything I say, Bundy, that's better than an affidavit, right? Yes, it is. It's live. It's live. And yeah. they've got to match it. If they can't, they're gone. That's what I'm saying. I'm putting John Key straight up because he's operating this scam business from Australia underneath the Australian Federal State Government. And they're in trouble as well with me because I'm going to stop them from using Queen Victoria in, in uh, uh, Canberra, in the, in the Commonwealth Government of, of Australia. They were, they were going to use Queen Victoria. And I wrote to them, put on video, and spoke, I got them on video, said, don't do it. Well, we'll yeah. go, you from, go you from this end. Because we're in a contract, uh, Bundy. This all contract, yeah. contract. We're still in a contract with our flag. Yes. It's, it's, it's not broken. The sovereignty is still there. And, yeah. and the king's sovereignty and, and the chief's sovereignty is still there. And we just have to tell them. That's all. So... Yeah. Yeah, so that's uh, that's good, Bundy. Well, I'm pleased that uh, you've rung and, and money and money. He just he emailed me to say how things went, and that was good. So yeah, um, yeah I'm pleased that um, um, Henry when he was there and had a had a, had a good um, feeling.
feeling about things uh, because it's good to have him there. Uh, to, oh, he's very, very happy. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. Well, I think we sh we should. Oh, I was going to do that down the down the east coast is legalize the marijuana anyway to to grow the damn stuff. You can make yeah. car car bodies out of it, and you can make yeah. houses out of it. And all that. These mongrels here yeah. are keeping it for themselves. That's right. They're keeping it for themselves and making a lot of money out of it. Uh, well, we'll we'll it yeah, that's what's going to happen. So we'll we'll make a case out of that. I'll tell you yeah. that much now. I've had it on my, I've had it on the on the agenda for one day, but we're going to bring it up sooner. Okay, okay, Bundy. All right, all right. Well, I'll work on that one. Okay. Hey, yeah, 29th, 29th on a Friday. I'm, yeah. I'm having it on a working day to give those defendants a chance to get there. If they don't turn up, as they might not turn up, or the public, it's open to the public to come and witness and be there. But I've got 30 spaces in the Marae uh, for, for I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it for older people if they come, but it's, it's mainly business, it's corporate business that, uh, that, uh, that who he's for. Uh, and so all the, if I get a list of who's coming, because that's what the Marae wants, they want uh, um, how many people are coming because I think more can sleep inside the Marae itself. And this is only the accommodation upstairs where, the, where 30 can sleep, but there's nothing in the bottom. Um, there's more can sleep there, but I, I can sort that out. They just wanted the numbers, that's all. Okay, well, so, yeah, okay. But I'm going to uh, advertise it anyway. Yeah. And, um, um, Fifth, I'll just write that down. Fifth of September. Yeah. Sure. Fifth of September. So again, you can write out that affidavit and we'll stamp it. Yep, okay, I'll do that. Um, okay. Okay, okay. okay. I'll leave that to me. Okay, Dundee. Good, Okay. Thanks very much. Okay, thank you. Oh, good night, bye. There we go, that's Bundy. I missed the first part of the phone call. And I had the camera on on photo, not on video. I missed the best part of the beginning of it. But never mind, we've got him. Uh, I just um, had an introduction to what was happening. Uh, now I've forgotten what I was, um, what I said when we first uh, uh, spoke. I just, uh, that Bundy, um, they had the uh, uh, Hui up north, and there seemed to be a, a few more other people that turned up. The New, New Zealand Geographic uh, people were there as well, and they filmed the, the whole process. So that'll be something good, but um, uh, it's a shame I wasn't up there, but I've got plenty to do uh, on the corporate side here in Auckland. Uh, so now I've, I've spoken to one of the Paramount Chiefs, the other one, uh, Money, um, texted me and emailed me uh, and um, uh, the third one uh, is um, um, Hiruini Kraka, but he's as an old man, he's 90 years old, uh, he's the other uh, third Paramount, myself the fourth Paramount of our own family uh, and in this whole um, process that we're going through is legal and it's volatile and it's British that we're talking about kings and queens and uh, knights and so forth. Um, so I, I, I spoke to him uh, in the beginning of um, um, how what they've done up north, the spiritual part, now can fit into the commercial part. Uh, and I won't hide anything from being said publicly that his son has been involved in some Marana case up there and so I'm going to step in and uh, uh, defuse the situation without slap. Um, and I'll explain that as the day comes of the court hearing uh, that um, we're going to 
use our authority now because the government here and the corporate crown is making money out of marijuana for themselves and their private businesses. That's what we're up against. We're up against the corporate businesses, against our corporate businesses. We have registered business here and in Britain <coughs> as the creditor against the debtors. Now we've got John Key, I'm just saying to Bundy, we've got John Key sporting the eight-point star on his coat with his sash and his knighthood. Now, he's got a problem with that, wearing that eight-point star without the authority from us. We are the keepers of that on our flag here. This is a legal title of jurisdiction over this land. Now, it's legal. And it's abhorrent for anyone to wear the eight-point star of King William III and St. Patrick's from Belfast, down Patrick, where my ancestors come from, the Rogans, judges, who put these titles together with these magistrate courts in New Zealand, and the Cosgrove lawyers. At that time period, that, that eight-point star was, and still is, the municipalities of the county courts as creditor, bank, magistrate, court, rent collectors and rates collectors and also fines and administrative costs to run the King's business with the Queen's administration that's fraudulent and has corrupted the legal system here. The judicial system here is corrupted. We have a flag and we have a stamp of jurisdiction and judiciary. Judiciary inside that stamp straight into Westminster Magistrate Court. And what we say on the pound note, in one trillion pound note, levy data instruments, is going against each and every named politician, crown agent, corporate name and surname and company name and their natural names as the CEOs, chief executive officers of those businesses in New Zealand get the bill inside the 30% of the population that we <coughs> put a um, formula over this country. 30% of the population of this country is on the Queen's bench court side or the Queen's crown corporate company's legal authority versus the King's bench court creditor and our paramount chiefs jurisdiction and authority in judicial matters of Admiralty Court, martial law that we apply against the Queen's Bench Court side. Okay, so that eight point star that John Key's wearing in Australia and given in New Zealand He's living in Australia and given in New Zealand by Bill English has libeled John Key, libeled this country. And you'll see the politicians like Peter Dunn scatter. They're going to run for the hills because we're coming after them. They are corrupting our eight point star flag of Admiralty Bank. court-martial law. This is a declaration of war flag on you, John Key, and all the thugs, Bill English, you, and Patsy Reddy, 
knighted John Key Thug. I'm calling you a thug on this video. Pirate with our pirate flag for pirates. This flag is for pirates. And we're going to arrest you pirates with our flag. We are the ones that are the contract partner, the private contract partner to the King William III, King William IV, King George III, King George IV, King Ernest Augustus I, and King Ernest Augustus V, reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, live in England. That's our oath of office. Now, unless you can tell me who's your oath of office, Stonky, that you've been knighted here and living in Australia and working in conflict of interest to us and our business, Moai Crown, King William IV Trust, and the Paramount Chiefs, commercial landowners of this land, country, and you're hiding underneath the Commonwealth country of Australia with our Titulia Whenua 1993 Act that you stole. You tell those Prime Minister in Australia they stole our Titulia Whenua Native Land Act 1993 and put it on their acts of the Commonwealth country of Australia. You see? That's another. I've got you on that. I've, I've, I've got it on affidavit. I sent a letter to the, the Governor of, of um, Canberra when they opened up their Supreme Court Parliament and were going to use Queen Victoria as their oath of office and I said no, you can't in a video and sent the video there and the letter and they didn't, they swore to the community that's who they swore their oath of office to the community now in New Zealand I'm yet to have you on a stand in Auckland, John Key, while the Sparrowman Chief was on, that you're going to have to turn up to defend yourself in Te Unawaka Marae in Auckland, Edson, on the corner of Clyde Road and Manukau Road, up from Broadway towards the airport on Manukau Road. The hearing's at 2 o'clock, between 2 and 4 o'clock, 2 hour. Magistrate, Native Court, Grand Jury, Trial, Court with the Paramount Chiefs. And a fair measure of public that can come, it's open to the public, because that's the 70% of the population of New Zealand is considered creditors against you thugs, debtors, 30%. You got that? That's the formula that we're using in the highest court of this land, in Amarai. That's a Catholic Church Marae. It's a Marae. And they do things that other Marae do. <clears throat> okay, just as well it's not one of the Iwi Maoris Marae's that have been corrupted by the Iwi Maoris themselves. You've got a bill on your head too. So you've all libeled yourself. John Key libeled all the politicians, everyone here in this country, and the other Commonwealth countries. <clears throat> in the Panama Papers, fraud, bank fraud, Merrill Lynch, all the banks that he's been involved with and corrupting with the United States of America and US Federal State Government of America and the United Nations and EU Parliament and NATO, IMF, Bank of England, City of London, Vatican City, Washington DC, all those are private companies for your own financial investment interest, John Key. That's what we're up against in Auckland. 70% of the population of New Zealand and the King, I'm the surrogate King with this flag and this head and this eight point star here. You see this eight point star, John Key? This is ours, not yours. You have no legal right to be wearing that eight point star with no background, jurisdiction or authority to wear it. 
from who? From who? And Prince Philip is not the commander in chief of the Royal British Navy anymore. He's gone and done a runner too. The Queen is not there. She's in the EU Parliament. There's a conflict of interest against us in this country that this country is using the Queen as a head of state. She's not the head of state of New Zealand. I'm telling you right now, you have no head of state here. We are the head of state. This is the head of state. This flag <coughs> has the judiciary inside the stamp that I put together. We're waiting for the stamp. And we're going to do the court hearing in Kaitaia for Bundy and his son with the Mariana. That's our patent rights under the Moai Crown King William IV Trust patent rights of Admiralty. That's our law. We make the law. We're using King William III's Acts of Parliament, 1650 to 1701. We're using King George's, King George the Fourth, his ex um, to 1830, King William joined to 1830, and King William's ex from 1830 to 1834 cut off. 20th of March, 1834 cut off. So King George the Fourth, the brother of King William the Fourth, those two kings started in 1820, from 1820. King George IV and Te Rawaikato Whare Here Manukau, the Moriori chief that signed the documents of legal transfer of New Zealand country and the Pacific Islands with Lieutenant William Simons, magistrate, the man himself magistrate in his court in Edinburgh, Edinburgh magistrate court, judiciary. Judiciary, Scotland Judiciary, to Westminster Judiciary inside the Westminster Magistrate Court, the man himself with the Navy. It's the Navy, First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones. This flag is connected straight to him in a private contract between him and me and the Paramount Chiefs. Four Paramount Chiefs. Me, Bundy Waitai, Manahi, Parapara, Mohini, and Selwyn Clark. Selwyn Clark, or Hiriwini Karaka, his Maori name, and Selwyn Clark is an immigrant from Britain as our partner here, and our partner over there in Britain, Sir Philip Jones, is the other partner. Those two partners. And Selwyn Clark is 90 years old, First World War veteran, Second World War veteran. So he's a, he's a war veteran on the military side of this flag, on the declaration of war side of the flag. And so with his legal authority and mana and these two paramount chiefs and myself as the paramount chief, in our surnames that goes back a long way. The clerks from England with an E on the end. And our Parapara Mohini, Moriori, Manukau, those three, Manukau, Parapara and Mohini are Moriori native people of Chatham Islands. Or Rehu, that's their island, that's not the Solomon's island. You can whip that out of that belongs to the Queen side of this corrupted crown that's worth operating its business in Wellington. And all the marijuana and all the people they lock up, they're keeping the money for themselves. Well, that's about to change because we have the upper house of Parliament in this country. You haven't got an upper house, you've got a lower house in Wellington with less jurisdiction than these three paramount chiefs and myself, the fourth paramount chiefs, you're up against. Your word against mine on a video, YouTube, like this one. If you can't front up, any of you Crown corporate thugs can't front up on that day in Te Unga Waka Marae, Hawaiian, Hawaii, Hawaii Marae, uh, Waikiki Marae, 
if you can't front up inside the marae, then it's ruled against you. You could not have any information, just like my case in Cook Street. We're going to seize that property, 77 Cook Street. is going to be seized on that day from the jurisdiction we passed there, from Titi Marae Native Grand Jury Court, Grand Jury Magistrate Court, Titi Marae Grand Jury Magistrate Court, and Waitangi Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. Those are locked on video. Fact, evidence, citation. Locked like this one is a citation. Affidavit. Used in any court hearings in the world, including Westminster Magistrate Court and also the High Court of Admiralty in London. The Judiciary and the Chancery, it's back to the Supreme Judiciary Court, and I'll have that in the manual for public viewing on the day of the court hearing. So, John Key, you've got to turn up there. And the two owners of Cook Street, you've got to turn up there, because if you don't, it's going straight into the High Court of Admiralty in London and Westminster Magistrate Court, and their fees will go on top of it as well. So you've got a trillion pounds riding on your head each, and the land forfeited. Forfeit everything. Completely everything you own will be gone after with the contract to the police. The police are contracted to us to do what we say from the British authority on this video. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. That case on the on the, on the Marana case is already made public, but that's our plan. That's our patent right under the Moai Crown King William IV Trust land patents and crown, my crown land patent rights. Okay, that's the title, the memorial title, standing in London and standing here in Dunedin and Auckland. The Moai real statue is the jurisdiction of the crown land patents in this country. Okay, you got that on this video? Uh, so I'm pleased that uh, um, um, Manahi and, 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 and Bundy and uh, Sowen Clark had a good hui up north and a good outcome because they can speak in this marae here and the public are welcome to come there. There's, I think there'll be enough room for 100 inside the marae. Uh, although there's no um, uh, much room, not much room being in Epsom, they are parking up the street, but that's limited to how many cars can fit anywhere around that area. So uh, it's first in, first serve for parking. Uh, otherwise, you're better to leave the car somewhere and jump on the bus and come in on the bus. Leave it out of, out of the area somewhere where there's no parking signs, because it's premium parking spaces in, around about that area. Um, so uh, don't get um, tangled up in, in, in the locals' parking areas because there are signs there. And I've gone to that marae because it's closest to One Tree Hill, the Manukau Memorial there, and uh, Kafaru the Giant of Waikato. So our, our main chief is Tira Waikato Wharahirehere, Manukau, uh, 18 Toji period, 1830, that he and King George IV made the contract inside the um, Edinburgh Magistrate Court to sell the New Zealand country off. It got sold, right? It sure did. But the Australian and New Zealand Crown Corporation government corrupted that title and corrupted our eight-point star. We're having you up in that court hearing, John Key, for exploiting our flag for other reasons than our own national interest here in this country. You are a threat to this country by coming from Australia and doing that here as, as if you're a two-way ticket from here in Australia to make legal representation from a third party operating in Australia and doing business here in New Zealand that's Crown Corporation business for your own selves. You'll have to prove to me 
that it's not for the public. Because it ain't for the public that what you're doing is not for the public. Don't fool me. Don't fool these paramount chiefs either. Don't fool Maui. Because Maui's watching what you do. What you thugs are doing. That's the end of it, as far as I'm concerned. So now we have um, um, Donald Trump uh, in trouble with Soros. Soros and, and, and um, um, Obama's Black Ma Lives Matter is trying to knock out uh, the Queen and, and um, um, Trump and Putin is trying to knock out uh, the, the Rothschild banks and the sooner he does the better that we can take over the Bank of England. That's what this bank's going to do and that's the King gave us the pound note. That's why you see those pound notes on my sides. It's real people. We're going to take what belongs to us back, the Bank of England, belonging to King William III, the creator of the Bank of England, Dutchman, English bank's a Dutchman's flag, not a Spaniard, not a German, but a Dutchman. And the pound note and the crown, the Maui crown, those two titles and King William's flag and his memorial title. That's our contract, two-way contract. No one can inquire into what I say or these paramount chiefs say when we put the documents together for that case with that marijuana case, that's a plant, that's a plant, that's a beneficial plant for us in this country. It's just like the willows and the pine trees and the, the kauris and all those other trees that you've been chopping down for years for your business. No longer your business. We're going to dick the whole lot of you with the bound note. We have that right, legal right. We have the legal right to use that pound note to claw back all the debts you owe and all the fiat money and all the money that you've raked out of taxpayers and sold off lands without authority. Those lands returns back to the King's Bench Court from the Queen's Bench Court and shut it down. We're making provisions for that. Okay, that's all I want to say for now. We'll see you later and bye for now. Friday, today, it's, oh, Monday, sorry. Monday, the 21st of August 2017. Good night. Bye.